Hey everyone, welcome back with another video. This is Once Future King, or once again. Today I'm gonna be reacting to uh, my Dress Up Darling episode two. So this might be kind of meaningless by the time you actually do see this video. But I'm gonna say it anyways. I don't know when this video is actually gonna come out. Just so you know, that is why it's out really late. I have no idea. I'm going to record it and upload it. I have no idea when it's going to come out, though. These episode reactions almost always get blocked worldwide, and I have to fight them. Usually, I'm able to successfully fight them. But lately, I've been getting videos taken down. I already have two strikes on my channel, that I've, uh, and I, I've appealed a bunch of videos. I actually got three of my Made in Abyss videos uh, taken down at once, and thankfully, they counted that as a single strike. That was really lucky. All right. Must have gotten taken down like at the exact same time or something as well. They counted them as a single strike. So I have, and my uh, other, my, my episode one vid, uh, reaction of My Dress Up Darling is still an appeal. So you haven't even seen, nobody's even seen that one yet. Um, so I have no idea when this video is going out. I'm going to record it and upload it. I'll let it stay blocked until I have no more strikes on my channel. Or the very least until I, until, at the very least until I have one less strike on my channel. Um, at the very least. Before I appeal this one. Or before I like try to fight this one. Alright. So. Yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to get that out there right now. Oh, maybe you'll never see this video. Maybe my channel will be suspended. I don't know. But. Hopefully not. Uh, so I just wanted to get that out there at the beginning of this video. Just get that all done and over with. So anyways, let's start then. I'm super excited. I loved the first episode of the series. It was such a great introduction to this wonderful series. Uh, by the way, you, you will be seeing videos. I'm still going to do like trailer reactions and stuff. Those videos never really get take, uh, get blocked or anything like that. Um, the, so yeah. Anyways, episode two. I loved episode one. It was a fantastic introduction to the series. I love these characters so much and this premise. And I'm super excited to see where it's going to go. So, let's get started now, shall we? The episode will begin in three, two, one. Go. No, I'm just... <sighs> Slippery Girls 2, what kind of... <laughs> Slippery Girls 2, what kind of shit is that? <laughs> I... I want to watch it. <sighs> yeah, I figured... I figured as much. With the title like that. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this girl. Like, right now I'm saying she's waifu of the year. I don't know if anyone will be able to surpass her. Um, if they do, then I think we're have in for a great year for anime waifus. Like, <laughs> as a fellow degenerate, I respect. <laughs> Well, I think I know what my thumbnail is now. <laughs> mm, I just need to think of what facial expression I'm gonna make on the thumbnail. I'm still, I'm still trying to get better at that part. <laughs> I love Maureen. <sighs> you tell him. Yeah, he's in love already, and I can't say his side. Bl I, I blame him because, well, so am I. So you know, I and mean, what what guy wouldn't be, especially a guy like this? I mean, really. <laughs> I 
This is pretty realistic right here, I, I have to say. This is extremely realistic here. Oh, I've seen this scene. That did she, she she did she did not get it at all. <laughs> I love the humor in this series. Like at first it makes you think like she is starting to get what he's talking about. But she doesn't get it at all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How dense are you? <laughs> That's the question I would have asked. Actually, no, I wouldn't have. I would have been too afraid to do that. But I would have thought it, though. I, I, it's hard to tell if she's just... If she's dense or if she knows exactly what she's doing. With girls like... With gr girls like... With girls like her, it's kind of hard to tell. I, I love the visual humor of this series. Like, like with that scene, it made you think... It, it, it kind of made it look like he, like, slapped her ass or something. <laughs> and of course he didn't, but that's what it seemed like at first until she turned around, and I love it. This series, oh my god. So, I think the director of that scene has a foot fetish. He would probably get along very well with Quentin Tarantino. And I, I'm not judging. I am not judging. I have weird fetishes of my own. I am not judging at all. I don't know if they were trying to make, trying to allude to the idea of Gojo having a foot fetish as well or not. I don't know, but yeah. Oh. <sighs> The series is lovely to look at, you know. See, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are getting and who who get who get annoyed with him watching this, calling him a pussy and wanting him to just go through with it. I can assure with you, I can assure you that this is 100% realistic. And hell, my heart is pounding just watching this, like. I can't even imagine what's like for him actually doing this. <laughs> yeah, she's enjoying this, isn't she? Like I said, it's really hard to tell if she is if she's intentionally teasing him all the time, or if she's just that fucking dense. I like it either way, but She finally catching on. <laughs> You're fine. You you are perfectly fine. The f 
<laughs> the... I like how he's not even, Gojo isn't even freaking out that his grandfather walked out on him watching that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this is serious fucking business, old man. <sighs> okay. Alright. That's it for that episode. I tell ya, that episode was even better than the last. Uh, this series is really good. So fucking good. Uh, like I said before, I love Marina, or Marine Kitagawa. It's really tough to tell sometimes if she is intentionally teasing him or if she is just that dense. <sighs> Uh, towards the end of the episode, when she finally got flustered, it seemed like maybe they were alluding to the fact that, no, she just really is that dense. Um, and she's finally starting to catch on. Uh, but yeah, I love, uh, love the etchy moments. Definitely didn't expect a lot of etchy moments in this series, but I do really enjoy them. It looks really fucking good. Okay. And again, I think the director of this episode might have a foot fetish, which again, I'm not judging. I'm just noticing. Alright. And I, I love the dynamic between these two characters. It is so wholesome and adorable and funny and just endearing as hell. And the ending of the episode just capped it all off perfectly. So, I don't know what else there is to say. This was just a fantastic episode of My Dress Up Darling. Uh, and this series is so good. I'm considering reading the manga before I even frickin' uh, before season one even finishes. I don't know if I will or not. I'll definitely read it once season one finishes, at the very least. But yeah, so I think my fav my favorite segment in this episode was definitely when he was doing her measurements, which granted was the majority of the episode. Like that segment, like was the vast majority of the episode. It dragged out. Um, and again, it, a lot of people would probably call him a pussy for not just doing it, but like, it's, uh, he, it was handled very realistically. Alright, so I don't want to hear any fucking shit, okay? I do not want to hear any shit. It was so fucking realistic. It was so realistic, I don't even, I don't even fucking know. Alright. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Hit the notification bell if you want to know whenever I upload a new video because I release new videos all the time. Share it around. Um, other places on the internet if you think it deserves this. That's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc. to try to help get it and my channel more attention. Um, and also, like always, comment down below because I help on my channel. Let me know your thoughts on this episode and on my video. Um, let, me know what your, well, let me know what you thought the funniest moment in, this, in the episode was. God, for me, that is really, really tough. Like, because I laughed so many times during when he was doing her measurements. I don't know what the funniest episode was to me. Or the funniest moment was for me. But what was the funniest moment for you, if you're able to choose? Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.